Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to talk about important topic on Applied Biology for CSIR and KSET Life Science exam. Certain topics are going to repeat every year from CSIR exam. So I am going to list out all those topics from each unit wise. So keep watching. In case of Applied Biology, they will ask about microbial fermentation, especially food production, bioreactors, types of fermentation, batch and continuous or fed batch fermentation, comparative analysis between these fermenters, examples of product produced from these fermenters, application and immunological principles, they will mostly ask from vaccine and diagnostics, uh, focus on tissue culture methods for plant where they will ask about germ plasm preservation, what is somatic embryogenesis, why it is so important, compare uh, somatic embryo with other biotic embryo, stages of somatic embryogenesis, how to convert somatic embryogenesis into artificial seed, what is shoot tip culture or root tip culture, what is uh, um, callus and how it will be induced, what media induce callus formation, how exactly we can culture micro propagation, environment or for plant tissue culture, what or which element helps in uh, which function of plant micro and um, macro elements of plant tissue culture. Then in case of animal cell culture, they will ask about the terms like stem cell, what is stem cell or cell line. So focus on that. Then uh, even read about bioremediation and uh, phytoremediation. Mostly few questions only they will ask from this. In case of transgenic animal and plant, focus on comparison of DNA transformation technique like biolistic particle gun or vesicle filled with membrane. How exactly agrobacterium transfer the T region into plant? What is TI plasmid? What are the component of TI plasmid? Why it is so important? Whether agrobacterium mediated gene transformation is stable or not? What is naked DNA delivery and closed DNA delivery system? Difference between positive and negative marker, reporter gene selectable markers and different types of vectors like binary and chimeric vectors. Coming to molecular approaches to diagnosis and strain identification, focus on hybridization technique or gram positive and gram negative bacteria identification procedure which specific dye will be used to identify spore formation in which test even about RAPD, RFLP or AFLP can be asked. In case of genomic and its application in gene therapy focus on in vivo or ex vivo therapy, cancer therapy, cystic fibrosis. Read about plant breeding and uh, animal breeding where they will ask about why quantitative trait loci is so important, marker assisted plant breeding versus conventional plant breeding. Then read about biosensors. This is important topic and these are all the important topics from applied biology. So focus on them. Read well. All the best for the exam. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.